identical to every variant of the His signal I could arrange. But how did Dorian create it? It's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Hi, Jesse. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that Black Rock? The Bureau has used Black Rock almost exclusively for containment purposes. The I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Or... Sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Endangering us by bringing a hiss in. If Trench was still around, he'd have stopped. Trench was part of the same shadow network responsible for every How can this come to white birds, the yellow and red in the eye, through a mirror? 
you are a worm through time. The thunders come to storm you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is near right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been in there. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. You are a worm through time. The thunders come to storm you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the invert. You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Happy Dylan. White pearls, Can you hear me? In the eye. Oh, come on, Dylan. Dylan. I'm here. I found you. You lost me. You want this to be true. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this you to stop be true. That? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I need your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Want it? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. 
but only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. What? Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here, so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way. Forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. And something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are a worm through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. White birds with yellow and red in the eye. Through the moon, you are a worm through time. Endangering us by bringing a hissing. Give us right to the stick. Go around and stop.
I should find the others.
Reminder, if the contents of your workspace have been rearranged, removed, added to, or altered in any other way, you should immediately leave the area while speaking to yourself in a reassuring tone. This will not only keep you calm, but also the room. Thank you for your attention.
only thing creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. No more mannequins. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and All the times I felt paranoid, where I was right. Fight. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> I don't want the big chair. What 
What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Mac! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. Uh, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different ones, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this... This, the house and being a director...
going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... never gone away. Something's blocking it. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it.
celebrating 20 long years. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. of Dylan Fagan, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Kolovon. The question asked here corresponds to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? After North Moor stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents, 
they're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family, my daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. projector in the dump outside town. They recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? 
Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. If only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Sane. What? It don't no matter. It suits you very well, the poem. Landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next.